hey everyone uh how deep is the ocean how high is the sky nobody knows and uh i got one request from my big video about reharmonization and i said at the end of that video that i would take a request to reharmonize a song and even out of like 4,000 views i guess nobody watches to the end of a 30 minute video but uh i'll make the offer again if you would like me to reharmonize a song please make a request down in the comment section below and the song uh, that was requested is How Deep Is The Ocean. And I'll play it first with my reharm. You can see what I did up there, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. So starting off with a C minor. Okay, there we go. Um, How Deep is the Ocean? Irving Berlin, and I'm sure that when Irving Berlin wrote this song, he did not have even all the original chords that are on this chart. It was probably a lot simpler, uh, but we've taken this rather uh, kind of reharmonized chart out of the real book and reharmonized it some more. And that's something you can do with reharmonization is once you've reharmonized something, you can go back and use some of the same techniques to reharm the reharm. So uh, we started with, uh, you know, some rule-based kind of things and that anything can follow the one chord. And, you know, this song is in E-flat, so that's the one chord. But it kind of feels like C minor is the one chord here at the beginning. So any chord can follow that. And it just makes sense to do a 2-5 here. And then, you know, we've got E-flat. Uh... But, you know, that, that, that's very close to a C minor, so it just makes sense to do a 2-5 into C minor. And here I really didn't do anything except, you know, alter the D7 a little bit. You know, it could be a ninth chord, it could be a flat 9, could be a sharp 9, you know, whatever you like. And then we've got G minor. And once again, it kind of feels like a 1 chord here, so I can follow it with anything. I chose E flat. A minor 7 flat 5 and here we've got once again now this is one of kind of my favorite reharms you know whenever you're doing like the uh, stairway to heaven kind of thing you know it's moving in that direction I always like to raise the fifth and it gives you a pure E flat minor chord and I always thought that sounded very beautiful and it, you know it's kind of the same thing it's like going down here which is kind of like a D augmented that you could put a flat nine onto and so I'm just taking the top portion of that so it still really is a D7 you know just got a, a, a third a flat 13 and a flat nine but anyway I just you know it's easy to find because if you're in a root position this note goes up that one goes down and there you have it and you know just a tritone substitution here and we've got B flat it's a two chord it naturally goes to an to an E flat a dominant chord what did I do here now? Oh, actually, I didn't go to the B flat. I just went to an E flat suspended, which is basically just like an, just like a uh, a B flat minor chord. And then half diminished, 
just to lead me in here, you know, it's like that kind of idea there. All right. You know, just kind of a passing chord in between. Could have been a B flat seventh also, back to our E flat minor. And, you know, it's kind of a tritone substitution uh, idea here. And then A flat, why not keep it suspended and then there's a and here, uh, I'm not going to go through the rules, but now, I thought of a nicer um, F7 chord there. I was thinking maybe this. And then it's kind of the same idea over here. And uh, the F, F minor 7 flat 5. You know, it's just following a, a, a normal cycle here. So you could even get a little B flat in there quickly and then the G7. I thought it would be good to just, the, the song gets a little bit uplifting here at this point here. So stick to the regular chords, kind of. To me, that's just a little bit brighter than the A minor 7 flat 5, but you know, it's kind of optional there, I guess. And then... Once again, anything can follow a one chord. It feels like a one chord to me. It's not really. Now, you know, cycle of fifths here, G minor, C7 to F is, is strong. So, you know, the diminished chord is just, uh, you know, it's a C7 flat nine, but with E as the bass note, makes it just a diminished chord. A flat, th this is a very typical kind of reharmonization. If it originally said B flat minor to E flat seven, you might consider doing the, you know, the uh, chords that are in the book, but that's definitely somebody's reharm there. So I kept it more typical. And then, you know, near the end of the song, sometimes you can have these faster chord progressions. So. I think that's the only measure where I have four different chords. And then this is just a, a diatonic progression up to the minor four, though. Except it's a minor, it's a minor six, so. And I like the dissonance there. And then the D flat. Now, anything works on a pedal tone. like an F7 rootless voicing, flat 9, 13, and then we've got, you know, that's really not a B flat 7, that's just kind of a, I don't know what that is, and then here, you know, what substitutes for the one, you go down, a tritone, use the minor 7 flat 5, and moves nicely to a kind of a G minor, change it to G dominant, and you're back to the beginning. definitely simplify this if I was soloing, of course. Now, a 
an interesting concept, of course, is uh, even if your rhythm section is playing, uh, you know, the straight changes or simple changes, you can put some reharm into your solo. And even if the chords don't quite fit it, it, you know, that's jazz and it, it will work. So yeah, I've been thinking about doing a video about this concept and I've got a few ideas, but uh, as you can tell, I've been a little slow on the video production department lately. So uh, give me a little time and, you know, work on this concept yourself a little bit and uh, maybe share some ideas with me if there's, a, uh, you know, something you want to put in the comments or, or whatever. Okay, that's it, folks. Thank you so much. See you again soon.